Did you know Arizona has the highest number of Greyhawks in the United States? Hi, I'm Nancy with Arizona Game and Fish, and I'd like to introduce you to Dorian, our Greyhawk. Greyhawks can be found mostly in South America, but during breeding season, which is March through October, they travel northward and they're gonna make their home in Arizona, parts of Texas, and maybe a small part of New Mexico. At most, they figure there's about 2,000 of these birds that winter here, and we have the majority of them. So this bird is actually very important to Arizona. Lots of ornithologists, which are people that study birds, other researchers, and bird watchers make their way to southern Arizona for a chance to see this rare and very beautiful Greyhawk. One thing that is really cool about the Greyhawk is they like to live near river sources, water sources. So most of them are gonna be along the Santa Cruz or San Pedro River at this time. And they like to make their nest in the cottonwood trees or maybe the willow trees that are right there by the water. But they like to hunt in the mesquite forests that are right next door. And you might look at a hawk and think, oh, probably like all the other hawks, they eat small rodents and mammals. And you would be correct, except during breeding season, about 80% of their diet is lizards. These guys love to hunt for lizards, whiptails, especially here in Arizona. These birds have a very distinguished sound. It's a very loud scream. You can imagine that a bird that's colored like this is going to blend in very well in the canopy of those treetops. They tend to fly in short bursts. Since they're hunting for lizards, they hang out on branches and make quick darts to the ground in order to catch the, their food. Like other hawks, they have that ridge here right above their eyes, just like your brow bone. It's nature's way of giving them sunglasses. Hawks hunt during the day, so they do need to have some shade from the sun when they're flying around looking for their food. Another thing that's pretty common about hawks or other raptors, which would include owls, eagles, falcons, are these talons. They're sharp and the muscles in their feet are very powerful and nature designed them that way so that they can kill their food. They grab it with those feet, it kills the food, and they have a very pointed beak, sharp, in order to tear pieces of meat. And these guys will really kind of hunt for anything once they're back in South America. And it'll include lots of uh, small rodents and maybe some small lizards and amphibians down there as well. Like other birds, they may have predators, but because this is such a rare bird to find in the United States, there's not a lot that we know about this bird in particular. They're not a large hawk. Gray hawks are only about one to two pounds in weight. You're seeing a lot of feathers. And they're about two to three feet at their, their longest for a wingspan. So if you happen to spot a gray hawk, consider yourself very lucky. People come from all parts of the United States to visit Arizona in the hopes of glimpsing one of these. If you're interested in learning more about these birds or any of the other animals here in Arizona, please check out the Arizona Game and Fish YouTube channel or the Arizona Game and Fish website.